Good morning all. Hope you can hear me. Um, if you can, and if you can see me clearly and hear me clearly, you can just let me know by just let me know in the chat box maybe uh, to let me know that you can see and hear clearly. I'm going to wait till 11 and we'll get started. Thank you all once again for, oh, thanks James, thanks Faya. Um, that's good. Thanks again for joining me this morning and I hope you've had a, a nice weekend and um, you're staying safe and staying well. If you've got any questions uh, while we're waiting for everyone else to join over the next five minutes or so, please ask and if I can answer them, I will do. Any questions at all or any suggestions for um, sessions in, over the next four or five days that we're running, five, six days maybe. Um, anything you'd like specifically to help with or um, then let me know and I'll try and set something up for us. But good morning to you all. Hope you're all um, surviving this isolation and lockdown. It's a very strange situation to be in. Don't realise until we can't do it how how much we need our friends and how much we need a, a hug or a, a touch until we can't do it freely. Let's hope that um, one of the things that will come out of this. Hi, David. I'm really pleased. That's very good. Thank you. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, it's one of the things that comes out of this is that we appreciate what we have more. I'm sure we all will. Um, it's not until we can't do something or can't have something that we appreciate it when we do have it. And things that had seemed really important to us, um, I, for me anyway, uh, no longer hold that same importance. My car's been sitting outside now for three weeks and you know, what we put places important on things no longer mean that to us. That's good, Caroline. Okay, Bev. Well, we're going to deal with that. I'll, I'll, I'll look towards dealing with that. Maybe on Wednesday, as you've mentioned it. Um, Morning, Christian. It's nice to see you awake because when I left you yesterday after the uh, the uh, working on physical goals, you were still way out of it by the look of it. I hope you came to uh, feeling really great anyway. Um, okay, Bev. Well, look, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for this 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 chat later. And thanks for any, any suggestions. If I can help, I will do. We've got, you know, maybe five or six days left to continue with these hypnotherapy sessions. And so anything that you think, because the chance I, if something's affecting you, it'll be affecting other people as well. And, you know, just give me some feedback because I, you know, we, I am running this in conjunction with the um, College of Medicine. And so it'd be nice to have good feedback. You know, I know sometimes we think things and don't say it. Um, but if you're thinking something good about these sessions, then please let me know. It'll be nice to know. I know a lot of people are giving me good feedback. And while we're on the subject of the College of Medicine, if you're not already a member, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, institute, if you like. What they're, what they're aiming to do is to get the alternative world and the scientific world together where there's where there's crossover because we know that we can't think something without affecting us physically and we can't feel something physically without affecting us mentally <coughs> you know we're a complete um, organism and if we're only looking at one aspect of, of who we are then we're not going to be working as well as we could do so the College of Medicine and all the people involved in, in integrated health, you know, the, the majority of them are medical people and doctors, but they're 
integrating with um, alternative medicine, you know, uh, all of the things, hypnotherapy, um, tapping, all of these different things that we, that people use around the world. So we can help people as much as we can. All right, but there is a link and I'll, I'll, I'll post it. Uh, but if you just put in, if you go to Google and you, you Google College of Medicine Integrated Health, you'll go to it and you'll see there's um, a link to join. So it's very easy to do. I haven't got it up here. Normally I have it up on here, but I haven't got it today. But it is very simple to do. Go to, just Google College of Medicine and Integrated Health and you'll come to their website and on there at the top, you'll see there is a, there's all, all of the things obviously about what, who they are and what they do. Um, but it's also got a link there to join. And I'll suggest you do. I mean, they're, they're giving out good information all the time. Um, new science that's coming out, new ideas that are coming out, and you'll, they'll, they'll mail you with those ideas. And there's meetings and there's uh, seminars to go to if you want to do that. So I would, I would suggest it's a real value to join as a member. Okay, someone, someone's actually posted it there. So uh, you may be able to see it in the chat now. It's collegeofmedicine.org.uk. Uh, so it's very simple. And so you can go there, you can join. Um, Amanda, she she's, does a lot of work there and organises. She's Amanda King, you can see it in the chat box there. She's organised these hypnotherapy sessions. So, you know, we need to give her a... Um, a round of silent applause, if you like, because she, she puts a, a lot of work into the college and um, she's fantastic. Okay, so it's about 11 o'clock. So we're gonna get going with this. So welcome everybody that's here this morning. And thanks again for joining me this morning and being here, because as I said, it's been very embarrassing to sit here and talk to myself for an hour. And it probably won't be an hour today. We're gonna do um, some work together just on my intention, let me put it this way, is to flood your body with good and positive feelings. And you're allowed to feel it. You know, I know there's a, some, it's a terrible time in, in the world at the moment. People are dying and people are suffering. Families are suffering and it's horrific. But we are allowed to have some respite. And I want you today to allow yourself to, to get into this feeling. So just for a while, put everything out, out, else out of your mind. Whatever's going on in your life, look on this as a bit of time out for yourself to make yourself feel good. Because if we're feeling good, if we're feeling positive, it affects our health as well. As I was saying just a few minutes ago, you know, about the College of uh, Medicine Integrated Health, we now know that you can't, you can't, be affected physically without affecting you mentally and you can't be affected psychologically without affecting you physically these things are inter in, inter um, integrally linked if you like so i want you to just allow yourself this morning to get into this with me to allow yourself to feel good allow yourself the freedom from all the other things that are going on in your life and we are going to aim this at help, helping you feel good okay now I'm gonna run the arrow technique. Some of you who have followed me in my hypnotherapy world will know about the arrow technique. And it's normally been used, and it was designed, to be honest with you, specifically for chronic pain. And while I'm on the subject of chronic pain, you'll see a painkiller app uh, behind me. And this, we've now got an app out. We are upgrading it. So if you're suffering physical pain or emotional pain of any kind, I'll ask you to just download the app. You can get it onto your iPhone, you can get it onto your Android phone. It's free to use. And the reason I'm asking you to do this because we want feedback, because we are upgrading that painkiller app. And you know we're changing aspects of it as we get feedback from people. And, and you can help me with this because your feedback, once you've used it, obviously let us know what you think about it. And then any changes that we can make, we're gonna make. So, because we want that to be as good as possible. So, the idea is today, as I said, to make you feel good. And I'm gonna run the arrow technique 
And instead of putting chronic, useless, unnecessary pain in that target, we're going to flood the center of that target with good feelings, positive feelings, joy, love, freedom, passion, whatever you want to put in. Because I don't know, because you know, you all have your own idea of how you want to feel by the end of the session. And don't limit yourself, all right? You know, anything you want to feel at this point in time, good, positive feelings. When I ask you to stack that, um, the center of that target with good feelings, do it for yourself. Let go of any limitations, because when we do this, you are going to be flooded with that wonderful feeling, okay? So once again, you know, if you're, when you're ready to do this, and if you've got any questions, there are a couple of questions. Let me just see what the questions are before we get going. Well, thanks, Ray. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed that you've been watching it. And, it, and it's uh, Mishy from Sydney, Australia. I don't know what time it is there, but it's probably either really late at night or early in the morning or something. So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, ask me. But as I said, what I want for you today is just to look at this as a bit of time out. Forget about everything else. If other changes take place as we're going through this, then your mind's doing that for you. And it will. It will take the opportunity. It will always take the opportunity to work towards your well-being. That's what your unconscious mind is always doing. And given the opportunity, and I believe that hypnosis or trance is an opportunity for your unconscious mind to say, what do you want me to do? Your conscious mind, which is the part of us that believes it is us, but in reality is the least dependable part of us. Your conscious mind can only ever hold seven plus or minus two things at the same time. So it's very limited. It's why we remember our phone numbers in chunks. You know, 0751-972-3106. Now I've given you my mobile number as well, if you can remember that. But we chunk it down so we can remember those things. Trying to remember all those numbers in one line is difficult. But your unconscious mind, the part of you that runs your automatic healing system, that's looking after you, been protecting you since the moment you drew breath, is on all the time. When we sleep, your conscious mind goes to sleep. But your unconscious mind never sleeps. It's your unconscious mind that will smell smoke in the house when you're asleep. It's your unconscious mind to hear a creak on the stairs that shouldn't be there in the middle of the night while your conscious mind is fast asleep. It never switches off. And it's only ever, this is my theory, it's another Freddy theory as I call them. I believe your unconscious mind is only geared to do two things. It wants you to be happy and it wants you to be well. That's its remit, it's got a very small remit. And it will do everything to make that happen for you. But it's ancient. It's pretty much the same instinctive, unconscious part of our being that's been there for millions of years. The higher part of our mind, the, the neocortex, that's only developed in human beings over the last 150 to 200,000 years. So in the whole scheme of our evolution, 85 million years of evolution, it's only been had that part of our brain for a very small part of our, life, of our existence, if you like, as human beings. Now, negatives only exist in language. They don't exist in any other form in the universe. In the universe, Things exist. Only in language do things not exist. You know, it only makes sense in language for me to say there's not a chicken sitting on the chair next to you. That only makes sense in language. I hope you haven't got a chicken sitting on the chair next to you because that would be very strange. But it only makes sense in language for me to say there is not something sitting there. Now, the unconscious mind, as I was saying just a moment ago, is geared for two things. It wants you to be happy. It wants you to be well but it's ancient. Now, the Brocus area, the part of us that will allow us to speak and understand language and communicate through language, that's in that frontal lobe, if you like. It's only existed for those periods of time. So the unconscious mind, if you like, was around before language existed. And because negatives only exist in language, it cannot process the negative. So if I say to you, don't think about the person you love, 
what happens? You immediately see their face or see their smile. Now that works brilliantly in sales. If you know what the criteria for someone buying your product is, let's say you're selling a car and you know the criteria for someone buying that car is that it has to be economical. If you say to that person, this car is economical, they can believe you or believe you not because as adults, we build up a defense against flattery in sales. But if you say to that person, look, don't think about the 50 miles to the gallon you're gonna get from this car. Have a look at the quality of the seats. They have no defense against that. They have to think about the money they're gonna save. Now that works brilliantly in sales. Where it works against us is when we say, I don't wanna be unhappy, or I don't wanna be ill, or I don't wanna be sad, or I don't wanna be afraid. Because the moment you say, I don't want to do something, or I don't want to feel something, you have to picture yourself doing it. Now your unconscious mind, as I said, it will do, it, it will get whatever you want, but it has no logic. It will get whatever you're focused on. And if all you're focused on is what you don't want, and I know it's difficult in this period of time, because all of us are saying, I hope I don't get the, get the virus. You know, we have to change our language. We have to say, I want to be well. I want to be happy. I want to be successful. It's really important because you are now, I've spoken about this over these next few days or weeks, you will hear yourself saying it. I don't want to feel like this. I don't want that to happen. The moment you catch yourself saying it, you have to change your language to the positive and you'll see what happens. You know, I read somewhere once that Medication might not always be necessary, but belief in a recovery is. You know, you ask any medical person, and they'll say, if the person who's ill, if they don't believe they're gonna recover, they're not gonna recover. It's just the way our mind works. So I'm asking you to think about this. You know, we speak to our kids in the same way. Don't be naughty, you know, don't be this, don't be that. You know. We, you know, we say to our kids, don't play in the street. We look out the window, we think they're defiant little sod. You know, what we should be saying is what we want from, you know, be good, be kind, stay in the garden. Because that don't, part of that, of that message, just doesn't register. Let me just show you what I mean by this quickly. I've got a bit off subject here, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by this, if I can show you. <clears throat> People come and see me and they say, they, that's normal things they say. <coughs> yes, excuse my writing. But I think this is important for us all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on saying what I was gonna say. Right, so people will tell me, they'll come in and I'll say, you know, I don't want to be afraid. I don't know if you can see that. It might be, it might be in reverse for you there, I'm not sure. Um, no, that's fine. Okay, so I don't want to be afraid. I, I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to smoke. Now, they'll tell me half a dozen things they don't want. Now, bear in mind what I've just been saying to you. The unconscious mind will get you everything you focus on but it cannot process the negative because negatives only exist in language. So when someone comes in and says this to me, that doesn't register. And that is the message that your brain will be getting if you say, I don't want something. And it's the same for our children. So that negative does not register. And we think they're just being defiant. It's just that the negative, the don't, doesn't register. We have to try and change our language, not just with ourselves, but with the people around us. Instead of saying what we don't want, start to say what we do want. And you'll find yourself moving toward those things without even thinking. And it's going to take a bit of time and a bit of training 
because you will find yourself, now I've said it, you'll hear yourself saying it. And I want you to consciously change your language to what you do want. So many people come and say, I don't want to put any more weight. And they continue to put on weight. When it comes to a physical goal, you have to state what you want. I want to be 10 stone. I want to be 11 stone. Because the moment you say what you want, your mind, you'll picture yourself achieving it. Your unconscious mind is like an exocet missile. It will get for you everything you focus on. So focus on what you want to push down on. So anyway, I've got a bit off track here this morning. Um, just, that's just the way I go, all right? So anyway, let's get back on what we're gonna do today. Today, my intention is to flood your body and mind with good and positive feelings. Do not limit yourself, because no one else is gonna know what you're gonna put in that target. And I don't, you know, be, let go of any limitations. Let's flood your body with the most incredible, wonderful feelings, okay? And I'm gonna use the arrow technique, as I said earlier. Some of you will know it, some of you are already using it for pain and um, for other things. Today, we're gonna to use it in a positive way, okay? So what I want you to do is this. If you're ready to feel incredible, if you're ready to allow yourself to feel joy and love and pleasure and passion and freedom, then get into this for me today, okay? So what I want you to do is this. Get yourself comfortable once again. Make sure you're in a safe place. Place your hands separately, place your feet separately if you can. And when you're ready to go, and some of you now have been with me for the last four or five days, you're gonna do this easily. Because hypnosis is one of those things you can get better at. The more you do it, the easier it is to get into hypnosis, and it is the, better, the easier it is to use it for yourself, okay? So I want you to do this. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, allow your eyes to close only as quickly as you're ready to allow yourself to get into this feeling with me. That's right. And once again, focus on those tiny muscles around your eyes and allow your eyes to relax completely just for a while. Nobody wants anything. No one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to allow yourself to enjoy this feeling. That's right, every word I say is gonna take you deeper and deeper into hypnosis now. Allow those eyes to relax so completely they just won't work, just for a while. And imagine that's happened now. Imagine those muscles are so relaxed they just won't work. And imagine that just for a while there's nothing you can do about that. Let that feeling of relaxation just flood down through your body like a bliss anesthesia. Imagine you've had a bliss anesthesia and your body is being flooded with a feeling of total bliss, total freedom, total relaxation. Feel that going right down through your body into every muscle, every fiber, every, every nerve relaxed, into the very marrow of your bones. Feel your body relaxing completely. That's right. I'm gonna count down from five and every number is gonna double that feeling of relaxation, take you even further into the most wonderful state of bliss. Five, going deeper, deeper, deeper down, just dropping down through space and time. Nothing bothers or affects you, nothing disturbs you. Four, going deeper, deeper, deeper down. Imagine it's happening, imagine there's nothing you can do about that. Three, dropping down toward a place of total freedom now. Two, going even deeper. One, zero, and now you're in that space. Just you and the sound of my voice. Nothing bothers or affects you, nothing disturbs you, just for a while. Nobody wants anything, no one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to relax. That's right, and as you drift there in that wonderful space, my voice and my words are gonna drift with you. Remembering those experiences of hypnosis you've had with me before, and how it's felt to sit and listen to my voice speaking to you. Remembering the words and the sounds, and how it felt as you drifted into that wonderful space. Deeper, deeper, deeper down. 
And just for a while, your mind and body can separate. And imagine your body's just drifting through space and time. The most incredible thing of liberation and freedom as the mind drifts off someplace else entirely now. And as you drift, my voice is going to drift with you. Every word I say is going to take you even deeper into that feeling. And the deeper you go, the better you'll feel. The better you feel, the deeper you'll go. 10, 20, 100 times deeper now. Imagine just dropping down into that space. Place of total freedom, total bliss. Every word I say is going to take you even deeper. Everything I say now becomes your reality. Every suggestion I give you, you'll act upon and carry out without hesitation is now your reality. Because you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And that unconscious mind, the back of the mind, can continue to hear, to understand, respond to those things I might say without the need for you to do anything at all. It's so much easier for the conscious mind simply to relax and enjoy that letting go. That's why letting go even of the effort it takes to make the effort that it might take to tell the exact position of arms, legs, or the entire body now that seems to drift through time and space. That wonderful free floating place of effortless relaxation and letting go. Allowing events to occur in their own time, in their own way as you drift as a mind. And that mind drifts without boundaries, without borders, without limits. See yourself out there, it's the summer 2020. And you're back with the people you love. See those faces, feel that love. Feel those hugs, feel those kisses, feel that love now. See yourself out there, fit and well. Feeling great, looking great. Once again, in the arms of the people you love, surrounded by your friends and your family. Step into that body and feel what that feels like. And as you feel that love, as you see those faces, every negative, limiting belief is wiped from your mind. Imagine every limitation gone from your mind. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. The unconscious mind can allow those changes to occur. While the conscious mind drifts off someplace else entirely now. That's right, in your own time, in your own way. Aware of events that occur along the way. As the unconscious mind utilizes that opportunity to alter your awareness and to continue that learning in whatever way is the right way for you. Learning that feeling of letting go. And as you drift deeper and deeper, I'd like to have the experience now of just drifting up out of your body. Imagine leaving your body in that chair for a while and drifting up out of your body as a mind. And imagine just drifting up as light as a feather as light as a helium balloon that some young child has let go of in the park. Imagine you're drifting higher and higher. Imagine you're drifting so high now that you can look down and you can see that beautiful blue planet below you. You can see the whites of the clouds and the whites of the mountain tops, the greens of the forest and the blue of the ocean. See that beautiful blue planet below you. And notice as you watch that planet from way off, how your perspective changes. When you think about the close to 8 billion people on that planet, of which you are one, notice how your perspective changes. And things that had overwhelmed you, no longer have any power over you. 
things that had frightened you no longer have any power over you. Now in your mind's eye, see that target down below you, a massive target down below you between you and that beautiful blue planet. You can see the colored bands, you can see the very center, the bullseye. Now in the center of that target is every wonderful, positive, pleasurable, loving feeling that you can think of. And I want you to do this. I want you to put all of those feelings you want in the very center of that target. Put it into the center of the target, love and joy and freedom, happiness. Put it in the center of that target. If you want to put in there steely determination, put it in there. Focus, motivation, stack the center of that target with everything you want to feel today and do it now. And now in a moment, I'm going to make this sound. As I make that sound, you are going to be fired, shot like an arrow, straight through the center of that target and straight out the other side into a state of total bliss. You're going to go through that target in a millisecond. As I make that sound, you're going to be fired, shot like an arrow, straight through the center of that target and straight out the other side into a space of bliss. And as you go through that target, your body and your mind will be flooded with those wonderful feelings that you want. So get ready. In a moment, your mind and your body is going to be flooded with the most incredible, wonderful feelings. Get ready. Now you're out the other side and feel yourself flooded with that feeling now. Your mind and your body flooding with a feeling of love and joy, freedom, happiness. Feel it now. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. And as you drift in that incredible space, once again, see the faces of people you love, people that love you. Feel that love flooding your body and your mind. And feel that love like a burning hot sun in the summer sky. And shrink it down to a white hot ball of light as big as a golf ball. And pull that into the very core of your being as well. And feel that love and that light flooding every cell, every fiber into the very marrow of your bones. Feel that feeling flooding your body, pushing out any doubts, any negative thoughts being pushed out of your body now. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. And now I want you to drift across the other side of your room so you can see yourself sitting in that chair. You can hear my voice. You can see the clothes you're wearing. And notice as you watch yourself from the other side of the room, notice how your body and your mind is flooded with that love and joy and freedom and happiness. Notice how you feel. And I'd like your unconscious mind to make those changes now at a molecular, cellular, neuron level that will allow you to hold that feeling and continue feeling that love and joy for as long as you want to feel it, pushing out every negative limiting belief. And only when the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes completely and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made, only then when you drift back over to your body and drop down into your body in that chair and experience the most wonderful feeling of joy and happiness and freedom. So go ahead, take your time. Only as quickly as the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made. Only then when you drift back over to your body, drop down to your body in that chair, go even deeper into hypnosis with your mind and body flooded now with the most incredible, wonderful feeling of joy and freedom and love and happiness. Pushing out every doubt, every limitation. Go ahead, take your time. And as you drift back into your body and go even deeper, my voice, my words are going to continue to drift with you to become part of your experience now. And every time you want to go back into this feeling, no matter where you are, what you're doing, wherever it's safe and appropriate to do so, 
Whenever you want to feel the way you feel now, you just repeat the word relax. Four times in your mind, relax, 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 relax. And you'll go back into the most wonderful state of freedom and joy. Every limitation will disappear. Wherever it's safe and appropriate to do so from today, whenever you want to feel the way you feel now, whenever you want to free yourself from any limitations or any irrational thoughts or fears, you just repeat the word relax. Four times in your mind. And on the fourth time of hearing it, you'll go back into this state of freedom and joy. So do it now, just in your own mind. Hear those words, that word. Relax. 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 And notice as you repeat that word in your mind, how you go even deeper into that wonderful state. And go over it your own conscious often as you need to, to know that that is now a part of you. Only when the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes for you at a molecular, cellular level and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made. Because in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. And every suggestion I've given you, you'll act upon and carry out without hesitation is now your reality. And every day as we go through these sessions, the better you become as a hypnotic subject. So you can tap into your own strengths, abilities and skills. So you can free yourself from those limitations and irrational thoughts and fears. So get ready, as I count to 10, on eight, your eyes will open. You'll feel incredible. You're gonna bring back all of these wonderful feelings with you. And on 10, that feeling of joy and happiness and love and freedom is gonna grow stronger throughout the day as you continue to use more and more of you. So get ready. On eight, your eyes will open. You will feel incredible. And on 10, that feeling is gonna grow stronger. One. Feeling absolutely wonderful now. Two, to achieve all the things you want to achieve and do it brilliantly. Three, a feeling of freedom from every negative, limiting belief that ever held you back. Four, feel a force of that freedom now. Five, feel incredibly alive. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely wonderful. Nine, ten. Okay, take your time. Well, I hope you're experiencing that wonderful feeling now. Understand, you're allowed to feel that good. It's okay to allow yourself to feel good, to feel positive, even in the worst of times. <coughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that experience. And I hope you're feeling absolutely wonderful now. Take that feeling you're feeling now and share it with the people that you're isolated with. Share it with the people you can communicate with on, on uh, the internet now. So let me know how you're getting on and let me know, um, give me some feedback. It's nice to know um, that what you're feeling. So look, have a wonderful day wherever you are. From today, and I'll ask you to do this, even if you can't get to these sessions, to take the time out for yourself, maybe five, 10 minutes a day, just to focus on what you want, how you want to feel. Remember, the only rule is you state what you want in the positive. I want to feel great, I want to be well, I want to be happy, okay? State what you want in the positive, take the time out, sit quietly, repeat the word relax in your mind, and wherever it's safe and appropriate to do so, you will go back into that wonderful state of hypnosis. Give yourself a time. So I've got two minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. And then you'll find yourself just drifting back up out of hypnosis, okay? So I hope you enjoyed today. And thanks again for joining me and uh, being here. Um, I'm running, um, I won't be running one tomorrow because I'm, I'm completely booked up with hypnosis online, unfortunately. 
I might be able to uh, achieve it later on in the day, but I'll let everyone know um, what the changes are. Um, but Wednesday, we're going to be running Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right through till next Monday. So join me if you can. Have a lovely day. Stay well. Stay safe. Let's keep doing what we're doing in this isolation. It's tough, but let's keep our distance from people. If we are if we are going out to get some exercise, keep our distance. Let's be sensible and let's overcome this thing together. And I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. Okay, take care.